Call the Parade. You know, there are many young people who think they have ruined their life. Maybe it was drugs. Maybe they got fired. Maybe something happened with a girlfriend. Maybe they got some kind of addiction. Maybe they went to jail. Maybe their family wants nothing to do with them. And whatever heinous thing that has occurred, they have resolved that now their life is ruined. Oh, if they had only not run with the wrong crowd. If only they had not taken the first sip of that bottle of alcohol or that marijuana drug. If only they had not gone a certain way that has ruined their life. And now they have a sense of great depression and hopelessness. And it seems as if their life just getting started as a young person is already over. And they're even thinking about suicide perhaps. Well, there's a, there's a good word for someone who feels that way. Because God works all things together for good. And also, if you really feel that you've ruined your life, then it's time for a new life which God will give you. Think, think how impoverished the world would be if Rav Shaul had not ruined his life. He joined the wrong organization. He joined Jews for Judaism. He decided he was going to be the greatest Jews for Judaism person that could ever be. He was going to find every last believer and see that they were either killed or thrown in jail or whatever. He was going to literally shut down the house of God. So when he found out that he had ruined his life because the Messiah really was resurrected from the dead and these believers really did have something that he didn't have, eternal life, then he was in a position to cry out to God for forgiveness. And then God gave him a new life, better than any life he could have had before. There are many people who find the Lord in jail because there with nobody visiting them with all of their family rejecting them with the victim's family pointing fingers at them you'll never get parole and if you do get parole i will be there personally to tell the parole board they shouldn't release you when a person is that lost and that deflated, depressed, with their life ruined to that extent, many people find God, but they have to go to jail to find him. They have to literally see that their life is ruined before they can get the new life. In a way, my prayer for you today would be that you realize that your life is ruined. Because if you think that you have a good life, 
and your life is so wonderful, you don't need anything from Yeshua HaMashiach. Then your life is not good. Your life is going to get you an eternal loss. Here is a scripture. It's found in Yohanan chapter 12. He that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto eternal life. If you love your life in this world, you will not get eternal life. If you feel you've ruined your life in this world, if you hate your life in this world, if this world with its lust, which is passing away, has lost its glamour, then you may be the most blessed person. Because look what he says. He that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto eternal life. You remember Yitzhak, he was bound with the Akeda. He was carrying the wood. He was confused. Where was the lamb of the burnt offering? What was his father gonna do? And yet he was a kind of Korban Kai, a living sacrifice. And that's what Romans 12, 2 says, we must be a living sacrifice. That in this world, it is not I who live, but Moshiach who lives in me. And the life I live, I live by faith in the Zunfunder Eibrister, who loved me and gave himself for me. Hallelujah. And so Rob Shaul said, I don't count my life with any importance. If only I can finish the race and do what the Lord commanded me to do. And he saw that it was a good thing that his old life came to a halt. Listen, friend, if you don't know the Lord, your old life needs to come to a halt, one way or the other. Because if it doesn't, you're gonna miss out. The life you think you have will cause you to forfeit the true life that you will never have. And there are scriptures that speak about this, but I want you to know, this is one of the most important teachings of Moshiach ben Dovid. He speaks about it more possibly than anything else in his teachings. Mark 8.35, Luke 9.24, Luke 17.33, he actually speaks about it twice in the Gospel of Luke. Matthew 10, 39, Matthew 16, 25. And then I just gave you Yohanan chapter 12, verse 25. And this is also very important in Rav Shaul's teaching, where he speaks about the Korban Chai of Romans 12. But also, uh, in Galatians uh, chapter 2, it is Moshiach who lives in me. That's the life that I live. You see, if you love your life in this world, but you don't have him, it would be better for your life in this world to be ruined and you find him. It is no longer I who live. In other words, the old persecutor, that's not me anymore. It is no longer I who live, 
It's no longer the persecutor who lives. It's Moshiach who lives in me. Remember what he said? Referring to the Atik Yomim and the Bar Enosh in Daniel chapter 7. He said, if you love me and keep my word, we will come and make our Mishkan in you. We're talking about Elohim Ha'av and Elohim Ha'ben, the Zun Funderoi, which we're talking about the Barinosh and the Atik Yomim. We're talking about what Daniel is talking about, what Moshiach ben Dovid is talking about, living in you so that you walk with him and communicate with him and he leads you. This Yiddish Brit Shah that I'm doing, I could never have done this. God is with me every day, helping me one more step down the road. Without him, I couldn't do it. The old life that I had, the ruined life that, that was mine, none of these things would have been possible. But God had mercy on me. He gave me a new life. And I became a new person. I'm not the same. Look at what Paul says here. It is no longer I who live. It is Moshiach who lives in me. And the life that I live now, I live by faith in the Zunfunder Oibister, who loved me and gave his life for me. And that's the grace of God. And that's something better than religion. People have religion. They do religion. They're in Saudi Arabia at Mecca doing religion. They're in the Vatican in Rome doing religion. They're in Israel at the Wailing Wall doing religion. They have religion of this kind or that kind, but they're still dead. They're walking around without life but he came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. And so if you feel that you've ruined your life tonight and you'd really like to find somebody that you can, ha you can have their shoulder to cry on so that somebody will feel sorry for you and pity you and listen to your sad stories and live in the past with you, what I would say is, it's time to forget what lies behind and to receive what God has for you right now. And that is Chaye Olam, eternal life. Whatever ruined your life, running with fools, feeding an addiction, getting mixed up with the wrong crowd, doing something with somebody you shouldn't have done, winding up in trouble with the law, uh, failing and, and flunking out of school, or maybe it was officer's candidate school and you, you were gonna be this uh, person in the military with this glorious career and you flunked out the first semester. Now you feel like a failure or somebody else got what you wanted and you didn't get it or you feel like your career went down the tubes, or maybe you're having tremendous financial problems and you're just uh, so depressed, or maybe you got a bad uh, report from the doctor and you feel like uh, you're going to have to just go to a hospice and uh, be starved to death by hospice workers. And your life is just black, it's just, terrible, you've ruined your life. This is where Moshiach comes in. This is where the wonderful thing happens. Because if you try to keep your life, you will lose your life. 
But if you have lost your life and you turn to him and you ask him to give you life, he will give you life. He will give you life more abundantly. He will give you eternal life. And as it says here, he shall keep it. That is the one that hates his life and feels that he has lost his life in this world. Then if you receive the Lord, you will keep your life unto eternal life. John chapter 12, verse 25. Lord, I want to pray that someone today, someone who might have tried to be very self-reliant, very cheerful, everything's going well, always talking about his accomplishments, bragging about this or that or the other, trying to keep a good spin on everything and a brave face and a big smile. But down deep inside, they know that their life is going down. And they see at the end of the tunnel there doesn't appear to be any light at all. I pray, Lord, that they will reach out to you. Because if they will, I know you will not turn away from them. Whoever comes to me, I will in no wise cast out, you say. So, Lord, I pray tonight that somebody watching this video will turn to you with all their might, with all their soul, with all their strength. They will take the Bible. They will get to a fellowship. They will get where they can be account accountable under sound preaching. And they will begin to grow as a believer, craving the pure milk of the word of God. And then they will begin to give all their talents and all their energy to the Lord's work. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things shall be added unto you as well. And we'll be quick to give you all the glory for this, Lord, and all.